Hello all, welcome to Raj Informatica. Please subscribe my channel Raj Informatica from YouTube and please comment, like and subscribe. My channel is having many useful videos about uh, Informatica, Power Center, Informatica IDMC, IACS, Oracle and also data warehousing and also Unix. There are many useful videos. Please watch them and comment like them if you like them. Also go to my website rajinformatica.com. So it is having it is having many useful material like Informatica entry questions. So I have in my website, I have noted all the Oracle entry questions, ask an Informatica interview, IACS entry questions, and power center study materials, Informatica IAS study materials, Unix, Oracle, data Warehouse study materials. This will be surely useful for you. I have given all most asked interview questions in my website. Please keep browsing my website for more updates. So now today's topic is how to load alternative records or how to load even or target, even or odd records through the IACS mapping. So we will do the IACS mapping to do even or odd. Okay. So then what I will do, I will log into IACS. So our requirement is what? I have a source table. So this is my source table. So what I should do, I should send first record to first target, second record to second target, third record to first target, fifth, fourth record to second target, and fifth record to first target, sixth record to second target, and so on. So all the odd records will go to odd target table, even records will go to even target table. Thus, that is my requirement. To do that, so log into IDMC. I have already logged into IDMC and create a mapping. Log into, I, log into IDMC and create a mapping. So I created the mapping and rename the mapping. So I am renaming the mapping like M underscore customers odd even odd even alternate. Okay, this is what I given. Then configure the source first. So I have configured the source by clicking on source connection, single object and select. So select the source now. So it'll take some time. So just wait for it. So select the source that is customers. Okay. And uh, just wait for a second. We'll wait for a second. So it'll take some time to configure. It is taking time. Okay. So and rename this source. That is customers. And rename the target. Rename the target. Customers order. Okay. And select the target. Would go to the target connection and select the target. Go to the target connection and cast even. First one is cast even. Sorry, I should select cast hard, I guess, correct? Just wait. I don't know, it is taking time. Let's refresh once. So let's refresh once. Save and refresh once. Let's refresh once. So that lag faster. Always log in IACS or IDMC in uh, incognito mode. So that it lag faster. Yeah. So I should select customer order. So for customer odd, I'm selecting customer odd. So I selected customer odd. Then just copy, copy and paste the target, control C, control V. And rename this as customer even. I'm just renaming it. Another target, I copy pasted the target. So select or drag the target. And you can you can rename it. Now I'm selecting even. I'm selecting even. Click on OK. Click on yes. So I created two targets and configure two targets. Cast odd even. 
So what I'll do next? So in the customers, in the customers source, I'll do order by. I'll do order by. So query options, sort, sort customer ID, customers, customer ID, click on OK. Next, I'll take an expression transformation. So I'll take an expression transformation. Then what I will do, I'll take a sequence generator transformation. So take a sequence transformation. So, and go to advanced work sequence and disable incoming fields. Once I disable the incoming fields, in the sequence I'll configure like this. Correct, that is initial value is one, end value is two, end value is two, incremented by one, end value is two, incremented by one, initial value is one, incremented by one, end value is two, and cycle I check, and I'll reset I check, and cycle start where the value. So when I give like this, my sequence number will start with initial value, and it'll give the numbers one, two, when it reaches end value, it'll start with cycle, and it'll start again with one. So for all the records it'll give, for these records it will give one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sequence number will give first one, for this record it'll give one, for this record it'll give two, for this record it'll give one, for this record it'll give two, and so on. So this is how you need to configure the sequence, sequence generator. From sequence, you connect it to expression. From sequence, you connect it to expression. So that next value will come to expression. Now, after expression, you take a router transformation. After expression, you take a router transformation. In the router, you create two groups. Go to output groups, create two groups. So that is first group is odd, second group is even. Second group is even. So for the odd, go to advanced, define filter condition, next value equal to one for the odd, odd records. And for even, go to advanced, go to advanced, edit filter condition, next value equal to two. Next value equal to two for even. So I created two groups, next value equal to one, that is odd, next value equal to two, that is even. Next, from odd output group to odd target, even output group to even target, and save. So once it is done, what you have to do next, you need to do the field mapping. Go to field mapping, customers odd, and smart map, so that it will take, take care, okay? Next, go to customers even, field mapping, smart map, done, save. Once you create a mapping, the mapping will the mapping will become valid. So now what you have to do, you, you have to create a mapping task. You have to create a mapping task. Copy the mapping name, click on new tasks, mapping configuration task, and create a name, give a name for this MCT underscore mapping name, MCT underscore mapping name, and select the mapping, select the mapping. So select the mapping here. So order even alternative records. Click on next, next, and finish. So once you finish, before that, what you have to do, I forgot one thing here. So go to the mapping and target, give the truncate table option, because if there are any records, it will truncate and it will load. Give the truncate record, table record for target. So click on target, at down target, truncate table, save. Once you save, run the mapping. Once you save, run the mapping. So go to mapping task and run the mapping task. Run. Now to check, go to my jobs or go to monitor and check it, it is running. And check it is running. Let's check it out. So it is running. It will succeed very soon. Succeeded, if you see here, so 390 records, it's read, it read and 160 record went to odd, 159 records went to even. So now you go to Oracle and check, go to Oracle and check odd. If you see, if you see here, one, first one, third one, fifth one, seventh one, ninth one, eleventh one, it went to odd, uncheck even. 
second record fourth record sixth record eighth record it went to event target this is how you have to do order even suppose if they ask you in the interview how to load order odd records how to load all odd records to one target even records from the target or how to how to load alternative records to different targets then you can explain like this they will ask a question like this can you explain a mapping flow can you explain a mapping flow to load alternative records to two tables or to explain a mapping flow to load even records to one table or records to another table then you have to explain like this i have i have a source table called customers and i have two target tables i created two target tables customers even customers odd i created a mapping in iss and i dragged the source and targets and i configured them then in the source i given order by customer id to make sure that all my customer id is in order by ascending order then i have created an expression transformation and i dragged from source to expression then i created a sequence transformation in the sequence transformation i given initial value as 1 incremented by 1 end value as 2 cycle start value is 1 cycle check and reset also check then i dragged from sequence sequence number to sequence to expression from expression to router i dragged i connected so then in router i created two groups one is odd one is even and i given the condition for the odd i given next value equal to 1 for the even i given next value equal to 2 and then i have connected odd to odd target from router even group to even target from router to target this is how we can do the mapping to load alternative records to another target or to load even records to one, one target odd records to another target i hope you understood about the mapping i hope in, you enjoyed my video so before going please subscribe my channel and please keep watching keep browsing rajinthmatka.com keep watching rajinthmatka.com for more updates thank you all thanks for joining